here's what the video card looks like with the stock cooler removed. If you ever wanted to know what a GeForce 7600 GT looks like, it looks a lot like a regular processor. Now, a word of caution on uh, video cards like this. This one in particular is an EVGA, which is, uh, I've found, one of the cheaper brands. But these capacitors here that appear to be solid capacitors, they're not. They're just normal electrolytics. You can see the indentation, the, the vent, what they call the vent indentation. Uh, that's a deliberate weak spot in the aluminum casing where it splits open uh, if it gets pressure inside it. And I've had a couple of these cards at work in our commercial machines where these capacitors dried out and popped open. I had to replace them. Um, so if you're going to get a video card, try and get one that's got actual real solid capacitors on it, not these these uh, electrolytics that look like solid capacitors. I'm going to try and get this monster mounted on here. That was kind of a pain, but it's in there now. And I got the fan cable hooked up. And one thing I almost forgot I'm going to put in this system is a gigabit LAN card. Because my whole network is all gigabit in my house, there's no point in uh, bottlenecking this computer. The only card I had left was a server card, which is a 64-bit PCI. But, however, a 64-bit PCI card will also work in a standard 32-bit PCI connector. Uh, if you have the room for the extra overhang after the connector. In this case, both slots have plenty of room. So, I think I'm going to put it in the upper slot and put my blanking covers in the back. And uh, we can get to installing windows. All right, we are up and running. I'm going to be installing Windows 7 Professional 64-bit edition. I have that in the drive now, and I'm taking a look at the BIOS here. There's kind of a, a nice BIOS on this. memory channel mode dual interleaved so we're running in dual channel so I'm going to go ahead and exit now that I know everything is working and we will proceed with Windows setup Right now, it is 7.56 p.m. So I'm going to see how long it takes from this screen until I'm at the desktop. Alright, we're cruising right through the installation process. Let's see what time it is. It is 8.06 p.m. It's only been 10 minutes. And I'm easily more than halfway done. I'm running out of space on my memory card here, so I'm going to come back as soon as this is nearing the end. It's only been a few seconds. It's already ready to reboot. This is the first boot up. So it's going to do some more preparation before I actually get to the desktop, but I'd say I'm making darn good time. Check the clock again, it's 8.07. Keep in mind this is an old single core computer, nothing super powerful or anything. It has a very old beat up hard drive. I'm sure a uh, new hard drive would be quite a bit faster. So, let's see. Holy crap.
just about done here. Let's come back to this after it's uh, ready to do its final step. I'm running out of uh, memory space here. This is what you see after that following reboot when it does the initial benchmark and after this we should be at the desktop and installing the final updates. Okay I've just uh, entered the product key and username and password and here we are. Now it should go out and get the initial updates on its own like video card drivers and chipset drivers and things like that. wonder if I'm going to have uh, the Aero interface support already working or not. it will probably have to go get a video driver first. It's going to take it a couple minutes here. So I'll pause the camera again. It is now 8.15 p.m. Okay, I probably shouldn't have even paused it because it came right up to the desktop as soon as I shut the camera off and I have installed a couple of updates. It is now 8.17 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and restart. There we go. I've since installed those couple of updates and rebooted one more time and it's still only 8.19 p.m. So it's been, uh, what, 23 minutes and I'm basically done with the installation. In fact, I didn't even have to install any drivers. Everything just worked. So let's get into the benchmark. <laughs> 